my studio. So this week we are preparing for another heat wave here in Oregon and I have to sculpt this week because I'm going to start my ice cream collection. So we're going to see how that goes because sculpting in the heat, as you all know, is like not the nicest, not the best, but I'm going to try to make it work. I'll show you what me and my husband picked up over the weekend to hopefully help with that. And it's one of those things where it's kind of gimmicky, so we'll have to see if it actually works or if it's just a gimmick and we have to return it. But I'll show you that. And I'll show you all the clay stuff I've started on to start prepping for the ice cream collection I'm making. So I've been starting by working on some sprinkles this week. So over the weekend I got these started. Basically I just make little tubes with the clay extruder and then I cut them up with scissors. I actually made a TikTok about it so I remember. I'll put the TikTok in here. But basically when I do that it just makes sweet little sprinkles like these so they're teeny tiny and adorable I'm gonna use them for like birthday cake ice cream critters now mind you I have lots of mini sprinkles in these pastel colors but I needed them to be like the clown colors for this I'm just so picky when it comes to my critters you all know and then I'm also gonna do mint chocolate chip and cookies and cream and cookie dough animals. So I started in on making some little chocolate chunks just for that. And so these are also like clay that's been baked and then I cut it with scissors. So I have sore wrists now from doing all that cutting. I just have to finish up the cookies and cream ones which just came out of the oven and I have to start cutting them. And then eventually I'll do these sprinkles, though maybe not yet because I think I have enough just to work on the critters. But there is stuff everywhere like you wouldn't know it but all of this was clean over the weekend i cleaned everything and now it looks like this again so i'll show you what i do first i'll cut this little piece of clay that i pre-baked it's like a brown almost black color and this one is for cookie crumbles, but I did the exact same thing for kind of chocolate chip hunks earlier today. And I'll sort of slice it into pieces, just thin little strips. And then once I have it cut up into tiny little strips, I'll just carefully shave little bits off and I try to make them not perfect each one's a little different because that will give me hopefully a more realistic cookies and cream ice cream look but I just cut little bits like that shred them out and I'll do that for the whole piece of clay and then I'll have plenty of little cookie crumbles to add in cookies and cream bits and they've also made a giant mess and also my hands are shaky because I cut with scissors too much but I'm excited to have those done so I can start adding them into a little ice cream and making it happen but now I'm gonna clean up because this has left dust and little clay bits everywhere so this is what my husband and I bought over the weekend because it has been so hot and like I've said a thousand times Oregon apartments just never have central AC, so you're kind of on your own when it comes to staying cool when it hits, you know, 90, 100 degrees. So we bought this little gimmick, and I'm calling it a gimmick because it's, it's one of those as-seen-on-TV things, but it's a tiny little air conditioner. And so you put water in the top, and you do a little frozen filter down here, and it's supposed to keep things cool. It hasn't been hot enough for me to see if it will, like, keep my clay and my hands cool while I'm sculpting because the temp dipped a little bit today, but I know over the weekend, I'm definitely gonna have to use it. So we'll be able to see if it's actually helpful or not. I'll keep y'all posted. It does do rainbows though, let me show you. So I do like that it does rainbows. Anything that can do a rainbow is kind of a highlight in my book. So we'll see if it actually keeps things cool though. 
I'm starting my first chocolate chip cookie animal. I'm just doing a narwhal because they're usually a good one to start with to sort of figure out how to use it. And I'm making a mess with this clay. And obviously there's little pre-baked bits in it and they're like slightly sharp when you're like smushing it. But I'm working on it. I feel like it looks like chocolate chip cookie dough to some degree. Like I'm happy with it. And then I'll put the cookie dough ice cream up on top of the narwhal. I know it's kind of hard to visualize when it's like this, but I'm working on it. I'm going to make this narwhal look as close to of being made from chocolate chip cookie dough as I can imagine. Alright, so here's where my little narwhal is at. It basically just made him out of sort of the cookie clay. And obviously it's lumpy, so working with it is a little interesting, but I think he's turning out pretty cute. Obviously you have to have the imagination to think, okay, he's going to have a horn, he's going to have eyes, all that. But it's going pretty well for being kind of a weird clay to sculpt with. <laughs> chalk pasteling just to make him look a little cooked instead of just raw cookie dough and I think I like it. Maybe that doesn't make sense to have a baked chocolate chip cookie animal with cookie dough ice cream on it but it does make him look cuter and add in some detail I think. I don't know if I'll do it on all of them but I did it on him. <laughs> this little lump of a narwhal that's chocolate chip cookie and I added some little dust to him to sort of give him a little color and I'm pretty happy with him so I went ahead today and started this little it's gonna be a unicorn this little unicorn this turtle who don't worry is gonna get a shell eventually and then this little cookie jellyfish cookie jellyfish so I started those three and I think I'll add like the dusting to them as well to give them color so they don't look like raw cookie dough. But I stirred the three of them and then also for these pieces they're going to be cookie dough ice cream themed. So I've started in on some little cookies that I'll add for decoration probably and then lots of little cookie dough bits that I don't know if you can tell but they're like so tiny and they have little chocolate chips in and then I'll bake them for a few minutes and then add them to sort of an ice cream color. So that's what I've started and that's what we got going on today. And I'm just about to put a little bit of liquid clay chocolate sauce on some of them before I put the cookie dough ice cream on. You can see it here. Very lumpy, very cute. And here they are before I potentially ruin them by adding chocolate sauce. I'm a little nervous, but like if I don't, it kind of like feels like that blends in too much. It just feels like it needs a little like separation. So I'm going to add some chocolate drizzle and hope that works. <music> are looking or I should say cookie dough cookie dough critters 
our look and we didn't have to add, add any chocolate sauce to this little turtle because like his whole shell is chocolate you know fake chocolate but I made all these cute teeny tiny little cookies and like I just don't think they necessarily go like I could add them on there but like it kind of feels like overkill so maybe I won't obviously I'd add it on better than that but I'm kind of feeling like that's just one extra ridiculous thing on top of things that are already super extra so I think I'm gonna leave them off hopefully I find a future project to use the cookies for though but yeah they're cute I like the unicorn especially but I like them all kind of most people's lives in sort of the Oregon, Washington area. 
I know a lot of people are sick of hearing Oregon and Washington people say this, but like we are not prepared for the heat here. So really the three worst days of the heat wave where it was like 110-ish, 100 to 110, all of our like effort and energy kind of went into, you know, like making sure we were safe, making sure that our pets were safe. So like a lot of my energy was like making sure Honey was comfortable and that she wasn't overheating or having issues because she was struggling. So Kenneth and I were just trying to make sure that she was safe. And so that took a lot of our energy. I did like sculpt during that time with all our fans and stuff. I was able to do it with the help of my little like box ice friend so that was good that I was able to get something done but I actually had to move all my work out of my office which is where I am now and where I'm set up to work into our living room because we had like a better portable window AC to be able to use in there and it made the most sense to block off any rooms of the house that we weren't absolutely having to use to order to keep a small area cool so I worked at my husband's little tiny desk for a little bit and it just like so made me appreciate having this office space and being able to have all my tools easily accessible and to do stuff with them because I did not have that just for a couple days and it was like not as productive and like harder to work. Granted it was also like 110 but still. But yeah that's what I was up to and thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!